In this episode, we're back to working on the Rambler. We've got to capture the engine bay geometry as well as some front chassis geometry, and that means we're taking out the 3D scanner again. My name's Eric, and this is Dirty Elbows Garage. Suspension is a cohesive system. The front of the car and the rear of the car have to be set up to work together. If they don't, the handling characteristics or the feel or the ride is going to be all over the place. And because I'm setting up the rear of the car from scratch, I'm going to make sure that I set up the front as well so that this car handles exactly how I want it to, which is why I need to capture a lot of this geometry down here along the chassis and on the outside of the vehicle. So I need to take off the wheels and start applying all my scanner locators. So let's get to that right now. We're gonna do a quick little walk around of all the targets that I put on the car. Just like last time, these channels are essentially the main support structure of the vehicle. Again, it's a unibody, not a frame. So they're thinner and they're boxed in. So I definitely wanna make sure I capture these. So you can see all the targets that I put on the surface there and on this other side. The other thing you're gonna notice is I put targets across these cross members. That's so I can maintain geometry when I'm sweeping from the left of the car to the right of the car and vice versa. The other thing you're going to notice is the poster board down here. These are from the CRX video when I 3D scanned to mount that seat in the car. I'm reusing them here as well. And the goal of laying them underneath this channel is so that I can tie this surface geometry to the backside surface geometry. I need some kind of feature there to bridge those two things across. And that way I can build this cohesive model of both sides of the chassis. Now you're also gonna see these little targets right here. I don't really mind or care about that suspension geometry. What I'm really trying to do is again, take geometry from over there and tie it into this side as well. And on this side of the car, I did the exact same thing. I brought the poster board up tied it into geometry there, make sure I capture my structural channels, use the suspension to jump across to this other side and make sure I capture some of that detail as well. I've got the wheels off the car, all the markers are in place, the scanner's ready to party, let's get to it. Okay, so we just finished up the scan. It's post-processing right now. As soon as it's done, I'm gonna grab the file, jump straight into SolidWorks, and we're gonna continue building the model that I started last time. All right, we are in SolidWorks now. I've got the scan loaded up into the system, and it may be a little bit hard to make out, so let me kind of go through it really quick. This is where the front left wheel would go, front right wheel. Back here is where the firewall would be, but I made a last minute decision to not add it to the scan. I just wanted to focus on my channels up here and some of this geometry of these fenders. I felt I didn't really need to add that volume to the model. I've already recognized some of the surfaces in the same way I did last time using SOLIDWORKS surface recognition, but since last time I didn't really cover that too far in depth, I'll do a quick little demonstration of that process. So basically we've got surface to mesh up here. We can use a paintbrush, just highlight a section, click OK and it processes for a little bit okay i did a little bit of a time jump there it's probably like 30 seconds to process it um but here's the surface it generated and you can kind of see how it is fused with that mesh right there so that same process was applied to my main structural channels both inside and outside so i'm able to really grab the geometry i need to locate this in the vehicle now that we've got that covered let's jump over to the main assembly and show you how i integrated this scan into it 
Okay, so right away you're going to recognize that rear diff that I scanned in the last episode on the Rambler as well as the rear scan and how I kind of integrated that to the system. The tires might be new. I added these extrusions just to kind of a rough estimate or kind of show some general tire size in there. The, I'm not set on this size just yet, but I wanted to get something there to kind of help the viewer or help you see exactly what I'm going for. I used my reference geometry to place this front scan laterally, longitudinally, and vertically, or make sure the height is correct. With everything in place, I essentially have a real life model overlaid a theoretical model that I'm going to use to develop the suspension front and rear for the vehicle. There's a lot of calculations that are going to go into this setup before I even jump into CAD. And even when I jump into CAD, some of the information I pull from CAD is going to feed back into those equations, and it's a little bit of an iterative process, but this is essentially the starting point for the suspension system development. I'm very excited to keep that going and I'm going to be releasing updates on that development as we continue it. And with that, we're gonna wrap up this episode. If you liked what you saw and you wanna follow this project, feel free to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.